Thanks for being involved as a minor basketball official. The role of the minor official is a very important part of the game for players, coaches, referees, and fans. This video will help teach you the proper way to manage the score sheet. The score sheet is the official record of the game with respect to scoring, fouls, and timeouts. The score sheet is a very important part of the game and is crucial that you strive for accuracy and consistency at all times. To get started, talk to the on-site gym supervisor, the home team coach, or the person in charge of the gym to get the proper equipment ready. You will need a small table with two to three chairs that will be placed on the sideline at center court between the two player benches. Find the score sheet and get your pens ready. At the back of the score sheet, there is a sample of what the completed score sheet should look like and the instructions to assist you. Fill out the top portion of the score sheet, which includes team names, name of the competition, date, time, location, gender, and referee names. Prior to the game beginning, ask each coach to fill out their team's rosters with their full names and jersey number. The name should be listed by jersey number from lowest to the highest number. In addition, the coach should identify the team captain by writing the word CAP in uppercase beside the player's name. Indicate the game starters by marking an X with a circle drawn around it next to the player's name in the player in box. During the game, the scorers will then mark a small X next to the player's name if they enter the game. If a team has less than 15 players, the scorer should draw a line through the spaces for the player's name, number, and player in, in the line below the last listed player. It is important to remove distractions prior to the game, such as electronics and unauthorized personnel from the score table area. The most important job as a scorekeeper is to mark the running score section on the right side of the sheet. The running score is divided into two columns, for Team A, or the home team, and Team B, or the away team. During the game, the referee will indicate whether a one, two, or three-pointer is made, so watch the referee after every made basket to correctly mark how each basket is worth. Made field goals are marked with a slash next to the corresponding point scored in the appropriate column for the scoring team. You must also write the scoring player's jersey number on the outer section of the running score for the appropriate team for every point scored. Made free throws are marked with a dot over the score as shown and are worth one point each. To mark a made three-point field goal, the scoring player's number must also be circled as shown. All personal, technical, and unsportsmanlike fouls will be reported from the referee to you directly. Pay attention to the reporting referee and make eye contact to acknowledge you have received the information. They will do this by indicating the team's color and number to you. For players, mark them with a P for personal foul, T for technical, and U for unsportsmanlike in the foul section beside their name. Whenever a player commits any of these fouls, the scorer shall mark the team foul section above with an X. For coaches, technicals will be issued with a C for unsportsmanlike behavior and a B for other reasons such as any foul committed by a person other than a player on the court or the coach. For any foul that results in free throws, indicate the number of free throws being attempted beside the foul. Should a player or coach commit their second technical or unsportsmanlike foul, write GD beside the foul to indicate game disqualification. In addition, whenever a player is charged with their fifth foul, notify the referee by sounding the horn and show an open hand to indicate the player has received their fifth foul. Once a team commits their fifth foul in a quarter, immediately notify the referee with the sound of the horn to indicate the other team is now in the bonus situation. This means that the opposing team will shoot two free throws for every subsequent foul called for the rest of the quarter. All team fouls will reset going into the next quarter except for the overtime period where it will continue from the fourth quarter. All timeouts are requested at the scorers table and are granted to the requesting team at the next whistle or if the team is scored upon. Teams will have two one minute timeouts in the first half and three one minute timeouts in the second half. 
If the game goes into overtime, each team is granted one one minute timeout and no existing timeouts will carry over. To mark timeouts, indicate the minute in which the timeout is called. Unused timeouts will be marked with two horizontal lines. If a team does not use their first, second half timeout by then, they will lose a timeout and two horizontal lines will be marked on the first, second half timeout box. At the end of each quarter, circle the score for each team in the running score section and draw a thick horizontal line under the score and the last scoring player for both teams. At the bottom right section of the score sheet, indicate the number of points each team has scored in every quarter. Indicate the name of the team that will start with the possession in the second half. For fouls, the scorer shall draw a thick line between the used spaces and the unused spaces after the second quarter and at the end of the game. At the end of the game, the scorer shall draw two thick horizontal lines under the final number of points scored by each team and the numbers of players who scored those last points. The scorer shall also draw a diagonal line to the bottom of the column to cross out the remaining numbers for each team. Total the points scored and write the final scores and the name of the winning team at the bottom right section of the score sheet. The scorer shall also cross out the remaining foul spaces with a thick horizontal line as shown. After that is completed, the table officials are to print their names and sign the bottom left section of the score sheet. The referees are to sign their name at the bottom left section to officially end the game. Give the yellow copy of the score sheet to the winning team and the pink copy to the losing team. The white copy of the score sheet shall be kept by the game host or organizer. Communicate with your team at the score desk to ensure the score clock matches the score sheet at all times. Thanks again for helping out at the upcoming basketball game. We hope this video will help you perform your minor official duties to the best of your abilities.